My name is Steve Lentz, and I'm the chair of the ATVB Council, and I'm here this afternoon with three members of our new ATVB Diversity Committee, uh, Madi Garelnabi, Allison Cohen, and Pamela Miller. And um, I, I asked them to join me today because we're very excited in the ATVB Council about the, uh, the new Diversity Committee, and I wanted them to be able to share and have a little conversation about some of the activities that uh, they have planned for our Council. We're fortunate uh, to be commissioned by the American Heart Association to put, to put together a full diversity committee for the next two years as a pilot. And I'm uh, extremely excited about it. And I'm, I'm anxiously looking forward to see what's going to happen in the next two years. So Madi, can you, can you share uh, some, of the, some of the ideas the committee's come up with so far? Absolutely. Thank you very much, Dr. Nash. Uh, it's a great pleasure uh, to be here. Uh, we are so delighted. Uh, to launch this new uh, initiative on diversity. Um, uh, last night, uh, during the women uh, uh, luncheon, we had the opportunity to uh, to discuss and outline the uh, this uh, new committee uh, functions and responsibilities. And um, today, also during the the dinner, we will be able to uh, even to speak to a wider uh, audience where we will uh, outline the, uh, uh, this uh, committee, uh, its importance, and uh, why we have to have a diversity committee, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. We are very uh, excited uh, uh, to take up this role, uh, myself and uh, my committee members over here. Uh, this committee has uh, 10 members. It has a vice chair. Uh, that's Dr. Annabel uh, uh, Rodriguez. Uh, who is uh, currently not here. She was here uh, uh, yesterday uh, because of her other uh, responsibilities. She, she, has to, uh, she had to go. Uh, we are uh, really delighted to, uh, to engage our council uh, to the next uh, step. Our council is already uh, being very successful uh, in many directions. And now this is our opportunity to, uh, to move forward uh, with much uh, better and a much stronger, a much stronger uh, uh, a group or uh, a council. Uh, so uh, the question comes in, why do we need uh, a diversity? Uh, and what is diversity? And uh, uh, what are we going to accomplish? And I would like to uh, touch uh, base on those uh, few points that I have outlined. And I'm pretty sure my uh, colleagues over here will elaborate even in much greater details uh, uh, to what I am I'm about to uh, discuss. So uh, diversity is not something uh, that is new. It's already been well defined by the NIH and the uh, NSF and other similar uh, uh, entities. Uh, it, it is about covering uh, it, um, uh, equal participations uh, to everyone, including in our council. Uh, regardless of their uh, race, ethnicity, socioeconomics, uh, or academic status, uh, or veterans, or language, or disability, or uh, sec sexual uh, orientation, or identity, age, or nationality, or gender, um, and, and so on and so forth. So uh, basically, uh, we would like to have everybody to, uh, to be able to contribute to our council uh, progress and, uh, and to be part of the uh, uh, discovery team that we uh, we basically had. Um, diversity foster uh, innovation and crea uh, creativity. And when you have uh, more diverse, uh, uh, basically group of scientists, they can uh, tackle the problem much better and they could be able to uh, uh, solve the, the problem. Uh, we are hoping actually to come up with several um, uh, initiatives and programs uh, uh, to help recruit uh, more diverse uh, a group of scientists, and particularly the uh, uh, the younger and the uh, uh, early career uh, investigators, uh, to basically move to the next uh, phase of our uh, of our progress, uh, more stronger and more inclusive uh, in that in that regard. I would like to actually uh, a, uh, uh, give the microphone to my colleague over here uh, uh, to elaborate even much more de in much greater details. Ali, if you could. Sure. So one of the things that we talked about last night and that has been part of the ongoing conversation that our committee has been having is really the excitement 
of not being your father's diversity committee, mm. right? We want to be, um, we want to really change the paradigm about what it means to be uh, promoting and uh, allying ourselves with the ideas of a diverse group of people here at ATVB uh, as part of AHA on the program committees, uh, receiving awards and travel, but more importantly, uh, starting to have a conversation between all of us here, all of the AHA members, about uh, what it means to be an ally for diversity, uh, how we can increase representation among a wide swath of people who we don't see up on the podium. Um, our goal as a committee is not just to check boxes and make sure that we get X, Y, and Z, but instead really have some transformative uh, programming that's really valuable for not only early career faculty, but um, also people in our community who come to our meetings who can really get their bang for the buck for coming to our diversity programming, um, which will hopefully include a lot of conversations mm -hmm. that we can start having um, in, in our scientific community, um, but also help us with things like implicit bias, uh, recognizing implicit bias in all of the areas of our work, and hopefully coming up with evidence-based approaches that we can take with us back to our lab, uh, to our lab meetings, to our own institutions, and to the practice of our own science, and use that and use uh, you know decision tools that can help us be great allies and have that start here at ATBB. I can't agree with you more. Um, in fact, I'm very excited to be a part of the team, and I think that the communications that we've had so far have been extremely fruitful. Uh, we have a great plan together for the spring ATVB meeting in 2018, um, and I can certainly say that I've felt um, very included as being a part of ATVB. I'm a nurse scientist, and being among uh, a large um, contingency of basic scientists, I've learned a lot um, and really looking forward to contributing. The committee is uh, really focused to uh, hone their collective efforts towards engaging and valuing the contributions of all scientists. And um, I think the direction is not only going to work within the council, but outside of the council through uh, community outreach efforts as well. Uh, thank you, Pam, and uh, thank you, Ali, for your inputs. Uh, they're really uh, more elaborative. As a chair for this uh, diversity committee, I also have the opportunity to, to serve as a member uh, in the uh, leadership uh, committee for the council. And I can uh, speak uh, on behalf of my colleagues. My chair is uh, sitting next to me, Dr. Lynch. Uh, the council leadership uh, is extremely committed uh, to diversity. Uh, they are working very hard to uh, promote this uh, new initiative, and they have extended all resources available, uh, whether they're financial or uh, other uh, resources, to help us uh, to achieve our, our goal. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also see that at the uh, upper higher level at the American Heart Association, who, uh, which is uh, very, very much committed to diversity and uh, they, uh, we are very fortunate to have all this support to achieve uh, our goals. Uh, and uh, tonight I'm also going to speak to the uh, audience and also encourage them to, uh, to start the diversity in their labs and to bring more diverse scientists uh, to our council and uh, to help us also to increase the, uh, the recruitment and to increase our membership, uh, uh, the council membership, and uh, be able to contribute to the uh, overall success of, of our mission. So thank you, Mahdi. I, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, diversity is extremely important to the American Heart Association. It's extremely important to our council. It's extremely important to me personally. Uh, you know, the, the uh, motto of the American uh, Heart Association is life is why. Uh, but I like, I, you know, it's, it's become very apparent to me that life is diverse. Uh, our, our council membership is diverse. Science is diverse. Our trainees are diverse. Mm -hmm. um, uh, our our uh, clinical trial subjects are diverse. 
uh, the public uh, for which we want to do all the science and, and benefit in the, long, in the long run is diverse. So uh, I can't thank you all enough for, for taking this on. Uh, it's been very gratifying for me already to see uh, 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 some of the stuff that's bubbling up already just, just uh, from some of the activities that, you'd have that, that you've uh, sponsored this week at the ATVB PVD meeting. So I'm excited about it, and uh, I really look forward to see where we can go. And I and I hope, as you say, this can be a model for the whole uh, for the whole American Heart Association as we move forward. So thank you. Thank you, Adam. Thanks.